Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about cloud architecture patterns from monolith to microservices to serverless and event-driven designs. Whether you're preparing for tech interviews or simply want to understand how modern applications are built, this video is for you. So let's dive right in. Let's start with classic monolithic architecture. In a monolith, all components of an application such as user interface, business logic, are tightly coupled into a single unit. This approach works great when the application is small or simple because it's easy to develop, test and deploy as one package. However, as system grows, scaling can become difficult. If one part of the code needs updating, you will often have to redeploy the entire application. Not to mention if one part of the system fails, the entire application could be impacted. Imagine an e-commerce application where your checkout, user profiles, and product catalog are all part of one code base. If one small bug appears in the checkout process, it could potentially bring down the entire application. And this is why ordinations are shifting away from monolith systems and towards more modern architecture that are easier to scale and maintain. This brings us to microservice architecture. In microservices, you break down your monolith into smaller independent services. Each service focuses on a specific function like payments, user profiles, or inventory management. Each microservice can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently. If one service fails, it doesn't bring down the entire application. For instance, if your recommendation engine crashes, the rest of your e-commerce application continues to function smoothly. In this example, let's say the user profile service has crashed your payments are not impacted because the payment service is independent and is working fine. These services communicate through APIs and each one can use different technologies or even be developed by different teams. Microservices have revolutionized the way large scale applications are built, especially in cloud environments where scaling up and down based on the demand is essential. If you're aware of scaling, I want you to comment down here talking about how the horizontal scaling works versus vertical scaling. But microservices aren't a silver bullet. Managing hundreds or even thousands of services brings its own challenges like service discovery, monitoring, and ensuring secure communication between services. Next up, we have serverless architecture. This pattern takes abstraction to the next level. With serverless, you don't manage any infrastructure, no virtual machines, no containers, Instead, you just write your code and the cloud provider takes care of the rest. Your code gets triggered by events such as HTTP request or an update to a database and the provider automatically scales the execution based on demand. For example, if you're building an image processing app, you can have a function that's triggered every time a new image is uploaded. The function processes the image then shuts down once the job is done. Serverless is cost effective because you only pay for the compute time when your function run. However, there are challenges like cold start times and possibility of vendor lock-in since different providers have their own serverless offerings. Finally, let's talk about event-driven architecture. This pattern revolves around asynchronous communication through events. Services don't call each other directly. They send and receive events reacting to changes in real time. For example, in an Internet of Things system or IoT systems, sensors might send data to a central hub, which then triggers other services to react, like turning on fan or sending notification to your phone. Event-driven architecture is highly decoupled, which means services don't have to wait for each other to, finishes, to finish tasks. This leads to better scalability and flexibility. However, managing the flow of events and ensuring eventual consistency can be complex. So to recap, Monolithic architecture is simple, but difficult to scale. Microservices architecture breaks down application into independent services, making them scalable and easier to manage. Serverless architecture abstracts infrastructure completely, allowing you to focus on writing code that scales automatically. Event-driven architecture ensures that services react to events in real time, enabling high scalable, loosely coupled systems. So each of these patterns has its own strengths and challenges and choosing the right one depends on the specific needs of your application. I hope this helped you to understand the core architecture patterns used in cloud environments today. If you enjoyed this video, 
don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll not miss the latest content from my channel thanks for watching see you in the next one